ಮೆಂತೆ ದೋಸೆ ದೋಸೆ ನಮ್ಮ ತಾಯಿಯವರು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಮಾಡಿರೋದು ಅರವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಹಿಂದೆ ಓ ಆ ದೋಸೆ ಇವತ್ತಿಗೂ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಉಳಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಂದಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ ಟಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಟಾಟ್ನೆಸ್ ದೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೆಲ್ಲ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಬೆಣ್ಣೆ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಬಟರ್ ರಾಗಿ ಮುದ್ದೆ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಬಸ್ಸಾರು ಹ್ಞೂ ಅದು ಫ್ಲೇವರ್ ದಟ್ ಬಸ್ಸಾರು ಇಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಬ್ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಟ್ಲಿ ಡಿಲಿಷಿಯಸ್ ತೆಂಗಿನಕಾಯಿ ಹಾಲು ದಟ್ ಶಾವಿಗೆ ರೆಡಿಲಿ ಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ಸ್ ದ ಕ್ರೀಮಿ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಕೋಕೋನಟ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೆಗ್ನೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಬೆಲ್ಲ ವಿತ್ ದ ಜಾಗ್ರಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಲಿಷಿಯಸ್ ಓ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ಲೇವರ್ ಬಾಂಬ್ ರೈಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೀಲ್ಸ್ ದ ಡೀಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ಫಿಲ್ಟರ್ ಕಾಫಿ after a delicious breakfast well we are in a place called kota which is roughly about 75 kilometers from mangalore it's very famous for this temple which is the shri amritishwari temple which is right here and i'm told the thing to do when you come here to the temple is to also visit this place called hotel lata that's been around for the last 60 odd years so namaskara sir sir namaste sir ನೀವು ನಮ್ಮ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ಬಂದಿದ್ದೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನ ನಾವು ಫೇಸ್ಬುಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವತ್ತು ನೋಡ್ತೀವಿ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೋಗುದು ಇಷ್ಟ ಸಣ್ಣ ಒಂದು ಹಳ್ಳಿ ಊರಿಗೆ ಬಂದು ನಮ್ಮ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ಬಂದು ನಮ್ಮ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಸರ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಅದು ನಂದು ಸೌಭಾಗ್ಯ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ನಾನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನೀವು ಪುನೀತ್ ರಾಜ್ಕುಮಾರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತಾಡೋದು ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ಹೋಗಿದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ನಾವು ರಾಜಕುಮಾರ್ ಕುಟುಂಬದ ಫ್ಯಾನ್ ನಾವು ಓಕೆ ಅವ್ರು ಸಹ ಬಂದಿದಾರಲ್ಲ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರಾಜ್ಕುಮಾರ್ ಪುನೀತ್ ಅವರು ಬರುದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಯ್ತು ಮನೆ ಇವರತ್ರ ಶೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಮಲ್ಪಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗಿದೆ ಬರ್ತೀರಿ ಅಂತ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಫೋನ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅದ್ರೊಳಗೆ ತಪ್ಪಿ ಇವತ್ತು ಬಹಳ ಬೇಜಾರಾಯ್ತು ಮತ್ತೆ ಅವ್ರ ತೀರು ಹೋದ್ಮೇಲೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಅಣ್ಣ ತಮ್ಮ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ತುಂಬಾ ದುಃಖ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಸರ್ ರಾಜ್ಕುಮಾರ್ ಎಂಬತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಹೋದಾಗಲೇ ನಮ್ಗೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಬೇಜಾರಾಗಿದೆ ನಲವತ್ತಾರ ಹೋಗಿದೆ ಹೇಗಾಗ್ಬೇಕು ಹೇಳಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಿತ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಅಂಡ್ ಹೂಸ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ಎಸ್ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನನ್ನ ಮಗ ಸರ್ ನಿಮ್ದು ಹೆಸರು ರಾಜೇಶ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಹೂ ಬಿಗ್ಯಾನ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಟು ನಮ್ಮ ತಂದೆಯವರ ಇದು ಓಪನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ಓಕೆ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಟು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವರ್ಷ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ನಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಚಿಕ್ಕ ಊರೇ ಆದ್ರೂ ಅಡ್ಡಿಲ್ಲ ತೊಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಪಕ್ಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಅಮೃತೇಶ್ವರಿ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಅಮೃತೇಶ್ವರಿ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಒಂದು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಜನ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಜನ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಸರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಲೋಕಲ್ ವರ್ಷ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ತುಂಬಾ ಜನ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಟೋಲ್ ಮೀ I have come to Mangalore many a times. I have come to Udupi as well. They said you should travel a little more and go to this place called Gota and eat at Hotel Lata. Ah. So, why are you so popular with this? That's right. Andre, you know, I'm going to give you a gift. 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 ಕೊಟ್ಟೆ ಕಡಬು ಸಂತ ದೋಸೆ ತಾಯಿಯವರು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಮಾಡಿರೋದು ಅರವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಹಿಂದೆ ಓ ಆ ದೋಸೆ ಇವತ್ತಿಗೂ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಉಳಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಂದಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಬೆಣ್ಣೆ ಹಾಕ್ತೇವೆ ನಾವು ಒಳ್ಳೇದು ಫ್ಯಾಂಟಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಮೆಂತೆ ದೋಸೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಲ್ಲ ಸಿಕ್ಕಲ್ಲ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಜಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಕ್ಕತ್ತೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಸೇಸ್ ಅದು ಅವ್ರದು ತಾಯಿದು ರೆಸಿಪಿ ಅರವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಹಿಂದೆ ಅದೇ ಉಳಿಸಿದೀರಾ ಅದೇ ದೇವತೆ ಉಳಿಸಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಫ್ಯಾಂಟಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಲವ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ಬೋದಾ ಸರ್ ಕಿಚನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಮಂಗಳೂರು ಬಜ್ಜಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ದು ಗೋಳಿ ಬಜ್ಜಿ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ಬಜ್ಜಿ ವಡ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಮೂಲಿ ಇದ್ದಿದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಉದ್ದಿನ ವಡೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಇದು ಬನ್ ಸಂದ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸರ್
ತಾಯಿ ನೋಡಿ ಸರ್ ಇವರು ಓ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ಹೋಗಿ ಒಳ್ಳೊಳ್ಳೆ ಐಟಮ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಹುಡುಕಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ತಿಂಡಿ ಉಂಟು ನಿಮ್ದು ಹೆಸರು ಸರೋಜಿನಿ ಅಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಮಾಡಿ ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿ ಅವರು ಅದ ಅವಲಕ್ಕಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಸಜ್ಜಿಗೆ ಬಜಿಲ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮಸಾಲೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗೆ ನೀವು ದೋಸೆ ಪ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿಜ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಅವೇ ಇದು ದೋಸೆಗೆ ಬೆಣ್ಣೆ ದೋಸೆಗೆ ಬೆಣ್ಣೆ ಏನ್ ಬೆಣ್ಣೆ ಇದು ನಮ್ಮ ಬೆಣ್ಣೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ನಂದಿನ ಬೆಣ್ಣೆ ತರುತ್ತೆ ನಂದಿನಿ ಇದು ನಂದಿನಿಯ ಇದು ನಂದಿನಿ ನಂದಿನಿ ಗೋಬಿ ಮಂಚೂರಿಗೆ ಸಾಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಓ ಮೆಂತೆ ದೋಸೆ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನೇನು ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸರ್ ಅದೇ ಸರ್ ಅಕ್ಕಿ ಮೆಂತೆ ಅವಲಕ್ಕಿ ಬೆಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲ ನೈಂಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಅಕ್ಕಿ ಸರ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಟೆನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಮೆಂತೆ ಮೆಂತೆ ಟೆನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಅವಲಕ್ಕಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ರುಚಿಗೆ ತಕ್ಕ ಬೆಲ್ಲ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಉಪ್ಪು ಉಪ್ಪು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಆರು ಗಂಟೆಗೆ ಹೋಟ್ಲ್ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಆಗಿದೆ ರಾತ್ರಿ ಒಂಬತ್ತು ಗಂಟೆಗೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಮಧ್ಯಾಹ್ನ ಊಟ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಊಟಕ್ಕೆ ಚಪಾತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ರೊಟ್ಟಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ರಾಗಿ ಮುದ್ದೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಕ್ಕಿ ರೊಟ್ಟಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೆಟ್ ದೋಸೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆ ಮಾಮೂಲಿ ಇದೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೆಟ್ ದೋಸೆ ಸಹ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲವು ಕಡೆ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮಸಾಲ ದೋಸೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಾದಾ ದೋಸೆ ಸೆಟ್ ದೋಸೆ ಒಂದೇ ಹಿಟ್ಟು ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದೇ ಹಿಟ್ಟು ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಹಾಕಿ ಮಾಡೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ನಾವು ಖಾಲಿ ದೋಸೆ ಬೇರೆ ಮಸಾಲ ದೋಸೆ ಹಿಟ್ಟು ಬೇರೆ ಮೆಂತ ದೋಸೆ ಹಿಟ್ಟು ಬೇರೆ ಟೊಮೆಟೊ ಬೆಳೆ ಹಿಟ್ಟು ಬೇರೆ ಮಸಾಲ ದೋಸೆ ಹಿಟ್ಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಡಲೆ ಬೇಳೆ ಹಾಕ್ತೀರಾ ಸ್ಮೂತ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಮೂತ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸಕ್ಕರೆ ಕೂಡ ಹಾಕ್ತೀರಾ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನೈಸ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಡೂ ದ ದೋಸೆ ಮಸಾಲ ದೋಸೆಗೆ ಒಂದ್ ಬಂದೇ ಇದೆ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ದೋಸೆಗೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ ಬಂದೇ ಇದೆ ಖಾಲಿ ದೋಸೆಗೆ ಬೇರೆ ಮೆಂತ್ಯ ದೋಸೆ ಟು ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಐಮ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಟೇಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಸ್ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಹಿ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಮೀ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮದರ್ ವೆನ್ ಶೀಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಶಿ ಫೀಲ್ಸ್ ಅ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಲೋನ್ ಬಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಶಿ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಹರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಟು ಬಿಗ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಟೂ ಟು ಜನ್ವರಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ನೌ ಅರವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಆಯಿತು So she has watched this place grow, she has watched customers come here through the ages and so when she comes here she feels very happy. So she is 80 but he says when she comes here she feels 25 years younger. Fantastic. Namaskar sir, what are you doing? Shankar. Shankar. Shankar, you have to start with a menthe dosa. Menthe dosa. What is it? It's a menthe dosa. 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 And I'm told during lunch they also have some other items. So I'm told they also do the patrone. They also do the manni. the ragi manni or halu bai but unfortunately they are sold out on that today i think these sort of places you need to visit more than once and uh, over a period of time taste most of what they have on offer banse ge de sir chana ge de but other thing is kurma ah so you can do mix and match kurma ide sambar ide chutney ide mente dosa mente dosa mente dosa with plenty of butter benne So this is a recipe that goes back 60 years by the lady of the house and this dosa is popular even to this day. It's basically the dosa rice that they use and I'm also told there's some avlaki that goes into it and the mente which is the fenugreek seed. So they soak it and then they grind it. I want to make sure that I smear that benne all over that dosa and also share some with the dosa that's underneath so the texture of the dosa on one side is rather soft rather fluffy and then you got certain parts of the dosa that i have a bit of crispness which is where that dosa has kissed the pan for a few seconds more mm there's a slight touch of tartness there and then the sweetness of the bella and bringing it all together is that benne is that butter mm this is also a sort of dosa that you place in your mouth and will quite readily dissolve in a matter of a few seconds so there is a chutney which is served with the dosa but truth be told
imparts more depth of flavor than your typical dosa because the proportion of the menthe seeds the fenugreek seeds that go into it is more than what would go into a typical dosa there also a bit of a whisper of a crunch in that dosa this is delicious now let's taste it with that chutney mm chutney kha raha hai the that's a chutney that's rather spicy there's a combination of the coconut the roasted gram green chili i'm sure plenty of it and a seasoning of mustard seeds mm. so if you want a bit of a spicy break from the slightly tart sweetish flavors of that menthe dosa you can introduce your dosa to that spicy chutney delicious my first dish here and i've already hit upon a winner they said you should also try the ragi mudhi they know palak sar bassar oh bassaro is piping hot just been prepared well the dishes are coming out of the kitchen fast and furious so i've got the uh, mude here with the shavige and what they do is with that they serve you a dali tove and then there is i think a kurma of sorts and this i think is the tengen kai halu the coconut milk so i think this will be sweet and a couple of chutneys i think what i'm going to do is go for some of that ragi mudde first with that bassaru Oh, the flavor of that bassaru is something else altogether. So this is basically spinach. Oh, oh, I love the flavor. I love that aroma of that masala. This is absolutely delicious. Garam masala. Oh, the garam masala. Palak, sapu, shunti, bilulli. That is special one. Super is there. Idu masala ni ndo, ndo parimala, ndo flavor bharta ida. सुपर दि अरोमा द फ्लेवर ऑफ दैट गरम मसाला एंड इज ऑल्सो गॉट द पंच ऑफ द जिंजर द गार्लिक सो दिस इज अट ऑफ बसारू दैट इज फ्लेवरफुल एंड ऑल्सो क्वाइट पंची इन द स्पाइस दस प्लेटी ऑफ ग्रीन चिली दैट गोज इन टू इट एंड यू कैन सी There's a green chili that's floated right to the top here. So the punch in this comes from that garam masala and also from the fresh ingredients from the onion, onion, tomato, tomato, the garlic, green chili, green chili. Very nice. Oh, I'm happy that your father said I should try it. Ah, uh, Prabhu Auru, super is there. Special is there. Ah, 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 ah,
coconut milk to be readily absorbed by the shaving head. It's a 75 kilometer drive from Mangaluru to get here. But the dishes that I've tasted thus far, be it that mentia dosa, be it that ragi mutte with that very special aromatic, flavorful, spicy basaru and also the shavige are the sort of dishes that make that drive, that make that effort completely worth your while. I think next we're going to taste some of the mude. And for the mude, so you have combination. So there is the, the dali tobe that's very popular with the GSB community. Mmm, I can taste the hingu. Hingu to chanage ogarne there with the sasue, with the mustard seeds. And that dali tobe is rather gentle. So it makes for a great segue from the sweetness of the Tengen Kai Halu. The Mude even is rather soft. The Mude will always have more of the Uddana Bele, the Urad Dal. And what they use here is the Akki Tari, the Akki Rave. You got the softness that comes from the ground Urad Dal and then that graininess from that Akki Tari. Mm. And if you want to amp up some of the spice, you can go for that Gatti Chutney. I'm enjoying my breakfast here. Mmm, adu pudina chutney. Oh, the freshness of the coriander and the green chilli. Belluli kuda is there. So that green chilli and belluli garlic deepens the pungency of that chutney. Korma, some carrots, some saute kai, some dried peas, some beans, I think. Every dish that I've tasted thus far has been a winner. This kurma has cooled down a bit, so therefore it's lost some of its vigor that you will taste when the dish, when the curry is steaming hot. But it's flavorful nonetheless. I would have finished all the Tengen Kai Halu. Breakfast on the Agila in Usa? Bonda soup. Bonda soup. Ambode with the Dali Tove. I tasted that Ambode soon after it emerged from that Kadai of oil. Busy there, busy there. Mm. And it was steaming away. Right now, too, it's steaming away, but I think that steaming <laughs> is because of the Dali Tove. Let's submerge that biscuit Ambode. Completely in the dali tove. Allow it to soak up. If you love a mild mannered dal, you should definitely taste the dali tove. Because what you taste in a good dali tove is the creaminess of the lentils, a bit of the slight sweet acidity of the tomato, and then the flavoring that comes from the higu. The asafoetida. And then there's of course some curry leaf, there's a seasoning of the mustard seeds with the hingu. Mm. So the dal by itself is quite mild, quite gentle. And then when you bite into the curry leaf or when you bite into that saswe or something, yes, you will get that sudden concentration of flavor. Depending on what is trapped in your spoon, like this curry leaf in this case. That ambode almost acts like a sponge, readily soaking up all the goodness of the dali tove. So what you taste on your palate too is mostly the dali tove and then that crisp and fried flavor of that uddina bele, of the ambode in itself. And in this case, some green chilli that was trapped in that ambode. Also the flavor of some coconut flecks that also go into that ambode batter. You know what's interesting about the dishes here is that they are in varying intensities of flavor. That mente dose is very calming, very gentle. You have that slight huli, you have that slight sweetness, 
you have the depth of flavor that comes from the fenugreek seeds and then that ragi mudde with that basaru which is a complete flavor bomb where you're tasting the flavor of the garam masala you're tasting the flavor of the fresh ingredients that go into it the green chili etc and then you have dishes like the shavige that are served with the dali tove with that jaggery sweetened coconut milk the korma etc so whether you like things spicy or you like it gentle you will find something that will have you yearning for more even after you've left hotel lata here in kota illadre onde kodi single kodi ondu busy busy mangaluru bhaji busy busy goli bhaje you can see the steam emanate from that goli bhaje I can taste a cumin in that. Some green chili too. So a good goli bhaje should be crisp on the outside and also have a slight stretchy sort of a pull. You can see flecks of the cumin there, which is what imparts most of the flavor, along with slivers of green chili. And it's crisp and slightly gummy on the inside. Put mm. into a delicious chunk of coconut in that biscuit ambode. ंग <laughs> 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 ओके <laughs> And this also seems like a rather healthy dish. There's not too much oil. It's a riot actually of flavors and textures. Mm. So the onions have been roasted to a level where some of them are caramelized, and some of them still retain that moist, savory crunch. Mm. I thought I'll just have a tiny piece of that just because he bought it, but it's over. The cashew that I see there, I think I'm going to go in with my fingers. Always nice to feel your food. This is a kesari bath that will not have you feeling guilty. There's no rivers of ghee here. Just enough ghee to moisten the semolina, and then you're tasting the flavor of the cloves, the godambi. Oh, that is delicious. That tuppa is just enough for you to. Taste it somewhere on your tongue. So this is the Navaratna. I've just barely finished with my Kesari bath. But Rajesh says, "I'm the Navaratna. Could I try Madi? He wants me to also eat lunch and go." I said, "Rajesh, then you know, Arab shoot it. Then next time on lunch, you get Kanjita Bharatan." And I think what's also special in addition to the food here is the warmth and hospitality. with which all three generations serve you whether it is mr venkatesh prabhu or his mother who interacts with you with a lot of love or the son rajesh who's always on the ready wanting to serve you wanting to feed you more pata chikka dotte nando my stomach is not as big as their hearts mm there is sourness that you tasting of the grape So I'm told it's a concoction of some grapes, some ice cream, some honey for sweetness, and also the cashew nut. Quite tasty. If you like something sweet, you can probably try the Navratna too. But I think I want to close my meal here with some filter coffee. I think nothing seals the deal like a good filter coffee after a delicious breakfast. 
The coffee is lovely. You know, when I go to places to have coffee, and usually sometimes it's a bit of a struggle because I think typically people like the coffee sweet and I like it slightly bitter. But here, this is the first time here and they've already nailed it. First sip, when you place that first sip of the coffee in your mouth and it leaves you satisfied and also makes you smile, then you know the coffee has done its job. Ah. So on your next visit to South Canada, wherever you may be, whether you're in Mangaluru, Udupi, Kundapuru or Murudeshwar, definitely find some time to visit Hotel Lata here on Fisheries Road in Kota. I can guarantee you, based on the dishes that I've tasted, that is the sort of meal experience that will leave you happy and satisfied. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Gourmet on the Road here in Kota. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, stay strong and happy eating and drinking. Ah. All that I ate is only 185 rupees. Yes, yes. Ashte. 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 All that I've eaten and that is good enough for maybe three people for the princely sum of 185 rupees. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating!